everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I am going to be doing a chatty get ready with me basically just talking whilst getting ready so that means that my hair most certainly is not done it's not a vibe right now and my makeup is definitely not done either just got my nails done today actually and how cute so i'm going to just do my makeup and then i'm going to do my hair after chat to you about a lot of things i've got a cup of coffee here Cheers! And um, we're basically just going to talk about life. Right, so let's get started into the makeup. So I'm just going to clip back some of my hair now. Got some cute little clips here. I could look back at this video and be like, genuinely don't know what I'm doing because that could be like a completely different parting because. I can't see. Right, let's get started. So obviously, first of all, I use the Belida Skin Food, have used this for ages now. I'm actually running out and this is the first time I actually got it. So I don't know whether I'm gonna buy it again. I probably will. <coughs> Why can't I speak? I probably will. I don't know, I love trying new products. You guys like that? Where when you buy a product again, it's nice because obviously you like the product, but it's like, I do like trying new things, you know? Can we all talk about the weather as well? Like, what the hell is going on? Like, one minute it's sunny and I genuinely feel like summer is around the corner, which is so exciting because I just can't wait for summer. However, I definitely do need to start like going to the gym and stuff, but YOLO. But then another day, it's literally like I'm back in November again and it's going to be my birthday next week. So yeah, I quite like the weather to sort of sort out what it's doing. But it's Saturday today when I'm filming. So I'm going to go out tonight. But then I complain about my health. Do you know what I mean? It's like Lisa said, come on, you have to pick and choose what you want to do. Do you want to be that girl that wakes up on a Sunday morning and does a workout and isn't hungover or do you want to be that girl that goes out with the girls all the time probably the second option but i quite like to be the first option you know so where is my primer so primer i'm using the all nighter ultra glow face primer pa, 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 pa. i have no idea what i'm wearing tonight I'm just trying to think and i don't know if i to include it in this video because obviously it's a get ready with me quite nice if you guys see like the full you know shabam of getting ready oh my god so guys i bought the dyson air wrap i don't really know how to use it to be honest like obviously my hair is completely dry right now doesn't need washing so i'm not gonna wash it but I do want to use the Dyson Air Wrap. I just don't really know how to use it, like with just dry hair, because I feel like it doesn't last that long. So if you guys have it and you know how to use it, like me, unlike me, then please comment down below. Sorry, I feel like this whole video is going to be me looking down here because this is where my makeup bag is and all my stuff is. Quickly, Forever Skin Glow Dual Foundation with the Bobbi Brown Full Coverage Face Brush. Yeah, I feel like. I need to learn how to use it, you know? And it must be good because it's literally sold out everywhere. God, I absolutely love this foundation. It's honestly the best foundation in the whole entire world and don't try and tell me differently. I don't know whether it's like, it just goes so well with my skin or like my skin type. The one compliment that I always, always get is my skin and I feel like it's genuinely because of the base and obviously the lashes as well love 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 lashes right next up concealer for concealer i'm just getting the shape uh the shape the tarte shape tape concealer this is in 22n light and neutral it's just the mini one and then i'm gonna get the fenty beauty pro filter concealer and this is in 280 god my makeup is just like so not dirty it's basically from a smashed eyeshadow which is not a vibe i need to actually tidy that but it's just like me and tidying up i don't know what it is we just don't get on i just went to go get my car cleaned it was absolutely filthy just a build up of Starbucks cups, Lindor's, everything, water bottles, the lot. Right, radio. 
Next up, I'm using natural light actually, so the light might be going in and out, but just ignore that. Next up, I'm using the Morphe M536 brush, which is sort of like a concealer brush, um, which is amazing for under my eyes. Always, always use this for under my eyes. How cute. So let's talk about what I have been up to this week. So it was Millie's launch on Thursday. God, I can't believe it's, it was Thursday and today is Saturday. I feel like it was literally yesterday, although it was the day before yesterday, but you know what I mean. Which was so much fun, met so much, met so many nice girls that I haven't met before, which was nice. Girls obviously from Love Island, some other sort of influences, which was nice. Went to a Hakusan I haven't actually been to before. I didn't know Hakusan actually had two restaurants in London. One was, one's Mayfair, which I've been to before. And then this one that I went to was Hanway Place. But it was so nice. And all the girls that were working there for the launch were so lovely as well. Oh God, I feel like I should be sitting on a seat, not on the carpet. Right, anyway, powder's done. Next up is bronzer. I have had a little break from cream bronzing and it's not actually on purpose. I love cream bronzer and I support everyone that uses cream bronzer. <laughs> I'm joking. No, I just genuinely... Sorry, where is my bronzer brush? Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Foslam! <laughs> Um, right, bronzer. Right, so bronzer is covered up because, you know, if you know, you know. And uh, my brush is the Morphe E65. Morphe brushes are just the one, really, aren't they? Yeah, so anyway, I went to Hakkasan in Hamway Place, which was so much fun. I met so many people. What did I do before? Before then, I stayed a couple of days in London, which was nice. I just love staying at the Bloomsbury recently. Again, just the vibe. I feel like, because I stay there so often, it's like the place that I stay now. I walk in and I just know the reception people. I know the man, the doorman. He's so cute. So yeah, I love staying at the Bloomsbury. I stayed at my Bloomsbury. I know there's a lot of hotels around the area which are actually called Bloomsbury something. My Bloomsbury with my manager Megan, which was fun. I'm trying to think why we stayed there actually. Anyway, on the topic actually, hold on, let me get my blush brush. Nearly forgot a step. So this is the Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand Blush by Charlotte Tilbury. TikTok actually got me into this. So I just dab here, 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 here. See, three dots each side, two on my nose. Obviously that is not exactly what you have to do, but that's what I do. And then I just pat that in. What I love about this, because obviously it's cream, but it doesn't like matter if you do it over um, powder, which is really nice. Sorry, I keep blocking you because of this eyeshadow palette. How adorable. Right, next up is blush. Do I use the same thing or do I go different? <laughs> right, so this is the same thing that I always, always, always use. It's really pigmented, love, love, love. It's MAC Fleur Power. I bought this years ago and I'd actually quite like to know if they still sell it. Should I type it up? Yeah, they do. Honestly, this blush, I found it in my um, cupboard and I was like, hmm, is this even good? And then I tried it and I was like, oh my God, so good. And then obviously I've got the NARS um, Orgasm blush, which is just another complete staple. I might switch it up and use the NARS Orgasm just because I've used the MAC one a lot in my recent makeup tutorials. I do feel like NARS Orgasm's more shiny. Still, just as pigmented though. I was gonna say less pigmented, but I love blush. I feel like blush, I just put some on my nose as well. Like blush is just, you know, if you know, you know. You know, cover yourself in blush and be that girl. Be me. Right, so next up is highlighter. So for highlight, I'm using the Sephora Highlight brush and I actually got this in a set so I'm not sure if you can get it individually but you might do have a look and I also use the wet and wild highlighting powder as I've said before this um highlight is completely in Italy, holding on to its last sticker <laughs> but it's so good honestly oh 
so good. Don't judge a book by its cover. This is the good example of this highlight. So anyway, I haven't actually spoken to you guys about my trip. So I've just come back from skiing, which is so super duper exciting i had so much fun i didn't actually realize how much i actually needed a trip until i went and i was there it was so nice to switch off obviously i didn't completely switch off because instagram is obviously like a big part of my job so i have to post what well, i really have to but like it's good i guess for like content if you post when you're away so i was making sure i posted a lot on instagram but it, apart from that it was so nice to switch off i had sort of no jobs out there yeah no it was just nice i really liked it i'm actually going away again to punta cana with one of my best friends bonnie because it's her birthday on the 14th of april but we're not actually going on the 14th when are we going right so we're going on the 20th i think we were going to be going away for her birthday but ended up changing and we're going on the 20th which is so exciting i've been to punta cana before i actually flew there when i worked with ba which is just so funny that i'm going back and i'm actually going on holiday there i just feel like i want to get away as much as i can and i know bonnie's the exact same she was like i just want to get away we had like a couple of options we were going to go to either mexico or to cancun but i've heard that's a bit of like a more of like a party holiday and that's not what we wanted like we just basically want to chill by the way guys i'm using the refi all of the refi brow products so the pencil the pomade one and the sculpting one whilst i'm talking to you and i'm using it in the shade medium but anyway so we just wanted a chill holiday which is what we've got so how exciting but through all package holiday which is exciting so it's basically all done for us all we need to do is just show up and bring clothes which is exciting I feel like i need to you know start preparing for that 20th is literally around sorry guys when i'm doing my eyebrows i'm like this it's so bad but it's because why do i have an itchy nose as well it's because eyebrows are like you know if your eyebrows go wrong your makeup's a no-no do you know what you mean right I think the pomade bit of the eyebrows are done. I just need to brush them out because they look a bit crickery. Um, but yeah, let me know if you guys have been to Punta Cana before. It's not like, I feel like you don't hear many people say like, oh, I'm going to Punta Cana, like in the Dominican Republic on holiday. But like, we want, we were going to go to the um, Caribbean and stuff, but we saw this place in Punta Cana and I've been before and genuinely, the sea and the beaches are just like, could I for? I said to Bonnie, why don't we just do that? A bit different, you know. Get a bit of a tan before the summer. And then obviously there's summer. So I wonder where I'm gonna go in summer. I definitely wanna go to like Ibiza. I do wanna go to Dubai. I haven't actually been to Dubai yet. And I feel like whenever I tell people that they're so shocked, they're like, oh my God, like you would literally love Dubai. Like so surprised that I haven't been. But I don't know, like I, I, it does look amazing. Like whenever I see people there, I'm like, oh my God, that's amazing. But like, I'd rather, if I'm spending that money, I'd rather go to like Barbados. Do you know what I mean? like i'm that type of person or like saint lucia or like i don't know maybe it's because i haven't been maybe i need to go and actually like see no but i'm a bit different like me and the girls like me and my friends like they would love to go on a skiing holiday but like they would never like it wouldn't ever be like their first place like they they prefer to go on like a hot holiday but like for me skiing holidays like one of my favorite holidays ever and i feel like i will literally go on a skiing holiday every year now till i die <laughs> I'll be there, 80 years old, skiing away. But yeah. Right, next up, I'm going to carve out my eyebrows. I don't know whether you guys actually just saw what I did for my eyebrows. I think I'll probably go into a bit more detail in my everyday makeup tutorial. But it's just the same thing. Right. Next, I'm going to use this Bare Minerals. It's sort of like a flat concealer brush. It's so good for carving out your eyebrows with concealer. I do it all the time now. If you guys know, you know. I just literally carve underneath like i've had such a productive day today i got my nails done i got my toenails done i've got my car cleaned i'm obviously doing this youtube video i'm a productive gal concealer is done underneath guys and now on to the eyeshadow so eyeshadow i've used this palette now for so much and it's this palette which is the cause why all of my makeup is actually dark brown because you know why that is why those two colors are like dark brown and they are everywhere so i love that god knows how they smashed i actually think they smashed in my suitcase when i went skiing so that's good 
Right, so first up, I'm just going to get Swan, which is the light colour here. I'm just going to put that all over my eyelid. So guys, just before I do my eyeshadow, I just want to say that this video is kindly sponsored by Eyelash Emporium. I'm sure if you follow me now on different platforms that you would know that I actually use Eyelash Emporium for my lashes all the time. It's the only eyelash company that I actually use. So this is the two eyelashes which I'm going to be trying on and comparing and seeing which one I'm going to go out with, which will be hard because I do love Eyelash Emporium. So sorry, my voice is just like all over the place today so this is the eyelash emporium out out studio strip lashes so they're vegan and they're 3d faux so they're also actually reusable up to 20 times do you know how good that is <laughs> up to 20 times that's absolutely nuts so get the price of the eyelash divide that by 20 and that's actually how much you're spending each time which is literally nothing so they're developed by makeup artists and therefore makeup artists as well but obviously everyone can use them i'm definitely not a makeup artist guys so if i can use them you can use them and yeah so obviously they have all different sorts of styles i use all their styles they are just so so good really really sort of high end looking and feeling they don't look like flat horrible lashes do you know what i mean like, there's one thing about eyelashes which i absolutely hate is that flat horrible eyelash look like they, these are really luxury but at the same time don't have such a like a really expensive high price tag so yeah so i'm gonna try on both of these obviously i'm gonna finish my eyeshadow now and put on some mascara because i love putting on the little bit of mascara under eyelashes obviously you do not need to do that and then i'm gonna go into what eyelashes i like i know both of them are really really nice feeling myself or out out obviously out out is more glam and i am going out out so who knows so i didn't actually say what i'm doing here i'm just putting in darker eyeshadow on the outside oh i love a saturday night guys you know what i'm either a lover for a saturday night or all i want to do is just lie in bed i'm like literally one or the other no i am feeling it though i'm not gonna lie one of my best friend's birthdays which will be nice love a birthday night out always one of my favorites so then i'm going to sorry i just um i'm not actually really saying what i'm doing here and i should be doing that so coco and oh because the palette's so old i can't even see but it's these two and i just dip them and put them right here and make sure guys to put your eyeshadow up to here and right around because that means it brings out your eyes and it makes them actually look bigger right then i'm going to go back into those two shades with a sort of much thinner brush i'm just going to go underneath cute 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 and then i'm going to get any sort of little brush that you can get it with your highlight and i'm just going to do my inner corners like i always always do and i also do just under my brow bone cute and then i'm just going to set that all in i'm going to use i've just got a little mini mac fix fix plus spray <laughs> why did that take me so long to say so i'm just going to use that oh my god how did i know that I was going to do that how do I stop that from doing that? It's so annoying. You know what though? Even if setting spray didn't actually do anything to your face, I'd still love it because it makes your face feel so nice. <laughs> like, it's just really like soothing, which I absolutely love. I'm just thinking, I think I need to go downstairs to my car to get my lip stuff. How annoying is that? So annoying. BRB. I thought I would have to go and go to my car, but I don't. I actually found stuff here. So I went to Morphe actually in London and I said to them, the lady at the counter, I said, oh, what's your most similar to Cork Mac? Because I absolutely love Cork Mac. And they said something, but it was sold out. But she said, the second one is Sweet Tea. So I've got this new liner here. I do have cork in my car. Perfect. And then no shock here, I'm using NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream and I'm going to use it in Abu Dhabi. Oh, I just love that like darker um, lip liner with Abu Dhabi as the lip cream. Oh, And then I'm going to use the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme Instant and Long Term Lip Plumper. And I love the fact that it smells of watermelon. 
So that is all done. Now I can focus on eyelash emporium. Yay! Right, so which one am I going to go for? I'm going to try them both on for you, do a close up, and then we will see. It's annoying that this isn't live and I have I can't do a poll, but we're going to do it anyway. Okay, guys? And then obviously onto the hair because this is a get ready with me. So where am I starting? <laughs> I don't know why I'm so dramatic all the time. Oh my god, do I not have... Oh no. Right. So guys, obviously, you do not have to put mascara on underneath. I do always have with lashes, each to their own. As well, less and less girls are actually putting on bottom lash mascara, which is really cool. But, fortunately, I feel like with me, Autumn Lash Mascara is here to stay. Mascara is all done. Right, so which one am I going to try on first? Out, out, or feeling myself? I think I'm going to try on first out out so this is the packaging, guys. So beautiful, beautiful packaging. Love, love, love. And it's just sort of sellotaped on. Right. So this is out, out. So what you do, why I absolutely love the packaging is you slide it out. Boom, here are the lashes. So I'm gonna quickly show you the lashes just in their packaging. So as you can see, what I was saying before is that they are super flattery, super faux, really, really, really nice. Just look. How incredible does that look? So yeah, that is out, out. And then feeling myself, I'm gonna show you these as well close up. Previously when putting on these lashes, what I absolutely love is actually the band. It actually makes it so easy to put on. Super thin band, which I absolutely love. So this is feeling myself, which as you can see is actually slightly more every day. Either or you can wear out. It depends how full obviously you like your lashes. Thinking about it, I was gonna do out out first, but I'm actually gonna do feeling myself first just because um, it means I can actually build up my eyeshadow and make it more of an everyday for out out because I'm going out out right so the first thing I'm going to do is grab a pair of eyelash emporium tweezers these are so good I have no idea how I live without these and I'm just going to grab the eyelash so what I have always done actually in the past is I've actually measured this up to see, sorry, the eyelash up on the eye to see whether it fits. Obviously, we've all got different eyes, all different eye sizes. Not everyone fits the same eyelash, which is absolutely fine. I usually cut off actually just like the tinsiest little bit at the end just so it fits my eye nicely. But as you guys know, that is completely normal in eyelashes. Literally, look how much I can. I cut off just the tinsiest bit. It's just me being picky, okay, guys? Right, so next up, I'm going to use the Eyelash Emporium Pro Double Act Studio Strip Lash 2-in-1 Non-Latex Adhesive. And you know why I absolutely love, love, love this lash adhesive? Because it's not like a little bottle where you're mamsy pamsy in around trying to get it out. This is the best thing ever. I've actually already used a whole one of these before. So this is actually my second one. Um, whenever I use this, people are like, oh my God, that is the best thing ever. I don't know why more eyelash companies don't actually sell eyelash glues these this big. Obviously, you guys have seen me use the seam lash and I've got seam lash glue here as well. So the difference is the seam lash glue has sort of the aqua um, colour of the brand in the middle. And that is a eyelash wand however this is for the strip lashes which i'm using today and this is just you know your normal eyelash glue where it's like that at the end so obviously clear for a more natural look or if you just want clear glue which is always my fave but obviously for a more dramatic look and i might just use it for out out it's perfect for black um black is also really really good glue if you've already got black eyeliner on so um it sort of blends in with eyeliner which is amazing so i love the fact that there's actually two ends of this glue which is fabitastic so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put them on the lash band of feeling myself what i'm going to do guys is i'm going to get the clear end to the eyelash glue and i'm going to whack this on the lash line 
So guys, I'm just gonna leave this on. You do need to leave this on for a sec, but you don't need to leave it on for too long, which I absolutely love. I don't like glue where you're like sitting around for ages and with this, I've actually realized that you definitely do not need to. And I'm gonna get their lash applicator. This is why the lash applicator is so good because you can literally just hold the lash like so, which is a maze. And I'm gonna get my mirror, see what I am doing. Sorry guys, I just wanted to quickly zoom you in a tad bit so you can sort of see what I'm doing. See how easy that was? How incredible is that lash? Wow. So as you can see how easy that was, um, I used their applicator, I used their glue and obviously I used their lash. As I said before, I cut a little bit of the end, which is completely normal for me. I feel like it fits my eyelashes better when I do that. I do wait a little bit to stick in the inner corner slightly more. So guys, as you can see, this is Feeling Myself Lash, which is definitely making me feel myself because that is not a vibe. But that definitely is. I am so happy with how quickly and easily that actually went on. So let's go in with the second one. So as before, I'm just using the clear um, eyelash glue just from Eyelash Emporium. Oh, the best eyelash glue ever. I always bring this around with me in my bag as well, this one. Just so easy. I love the fact that you've got an option. I'm gonna let that sit for one moment. Actually, whilst I'm waiting for the eyelash glue to set how amazing is the difference here oh it's just a vibe look at that that has just completely made my makeup so next up i'm just going to put this on here just gonna let it sit for one moment whilst i put it on the inner corner i always like the inner corner to be more tacky um just because i feel like the inner corner can be a little bit of a difficult one especially on my eyes i don't know why so guys this is both of the lashes on how incredible do they look as you can see, I was not lying about how fluffy they are. They are not your flat lashes, which I hate. I'm pretty sure if I actually go from the side, you can actually see how wispy these lashes are and how much of a vibe they are. Um, this is only feeling myself. This is definitely not as glam as they go, but you can also go even less glam as this as well because they've got a huge variety. For example, certain ones that I do have actually, which is part of the eyelash emporium pro set is actually so dramatic i'm not trying on these today for you they are also a vibe and they're all slightly different which i absolutely love so yeah so this is the makeup look of this one with feeling myself so guys feeling myself is on and i'm absolutely obsessed over this look i've showed you the close-up love 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 now i'm going to take these off and i'm going to try out out i'm going to change my eyeshadow a little bit to show different looks and do a more going out lash obviously i would also wear these going out because they are just so fab but i feel like let's show it for the girls that love a big lash and obviously i do as well so i'm going to take these off how easy how blimmin easy right so they are off and now i'm gonna go for out out so these is out out very very glam very very full but also such a vibe also as before i'm gonna cut a little bit at the end standard procedure for me what i always do with every single lash i cannot wait to try these lashes on these are very full and i am here for it cannot wait right so i'm going to use the same eyelash glue as i did before just the um eyelash emporium one eyelash emporium pro eyelash glue with the both ends and as i said before you can use the one with the black one but i don't actually want to wear eyeliner so again i'm going to use clear just so you guys know there is an option for black because i do know that people swear by black as well so i'm just gonna put this on i'm gonna let that just to 
dry whilst I bring you guys in. Right, all zoomed in, guys. As I said before, use the eyelash and pore room glue, using the eyelash and pore room tweezers as I was before. I'm going to wait a sec for this to go tacky. So I used feeling myself before and these are out, out. And you guys will see. Oh, actually, whilst they are drying, I'm just going to get a little fluffy brush. I'm just going to deepen up my crease slightly, slightly, just so, you know, they suit the eyelashes for a more going out look. Right. Here we go, guys. See how easy these are. So full, but I'm loving. I can't remember the last time I actually wore eyelashes this full, and this is just like, wow. Out, out to the absolute extreme, everyone. I'm just gonna wait for the inner corner. Right guys, so that is out, out, on. As you can see, they really do make a difference to your eyelashes, this one. It is very full, but that is exactly what it is for. It is for going out, out. I mean, you can wear these every day if you are a gal that loves her full lashes. Part of the glue is actually still um, setting, so it's not clear just yet. But wow, love, love, love. I'm going to go and put on the other one here and you guys will see how simple this is. So I'm just gonna get the lash. I'm going to put on the clear glue, like so, so easy. Cute, cute, cute. And then I'm going to, oh guys, if you take anything from this video, please go get these out of lashes. I've never seen anything like this before. So full. So full, love. Easy as that. I'm obviously just gonna wait for the glue to dry, but did you actually just see how easy that was? <laughs> Went on like in a second. And as easy as that, that is the out, out lashes. They are very, very, very full, but they are also a vibe. Yeah, love them. So I'm just going to show you these here, see on the side how fluffy they are. And I'm gonna zoom you all out and I'm gonna do my hair. So thank you Eyelash Emporium for my beautiful eyelashes. I am slightly obsessed. You can shop Eyelash Emporium on Eyelash Emporium or on Superdrug. Right, so I'm just gonna unclip this, give my hair a good old brush. And I'm going to do something to my hair. God knows what, but I need something done to my hair. I was hesitant to use this just because I know that I'll basically be doing it wrong. But I just think, you know, practice makes perfect, everyone. So is it like that? I don't know. Anyway. Do you know what I mean? Like, what? Why doesn't this work on my hair? Look, that bit's fine. I'm actually sad. I'm gonna watch an actual tutorial right now. Hold on. Am I that girl that literally looks at a tutorial and I still can't do it? Right. Tell me if I'm doing this wrong. Guys, are you ready? Right, so I've got a piece of hair. Okay, piece of hair. I'm putting it on. Wrapping it around. Oh my God. I'm getting it. Am I getting the flow of things? I don't know. I feel like I'm supposed to let it sit for a minute. I just know that you guys, I'm laughing because I know that you guys are going to be commenting like, what the actual how am I watching? <laughs> So 
sort of cute. I feel like I should have had my hair waxed. This is what this is giving me right now. What this is doing for my hair. Gonna keep going with it. Oh my god. Do I need to go cold or something? God, am I doing this like completely wrong? What did I? That's cute. Okay. That's better. I mean, it's not the best. Mm, to be fair, I am sort of feeling this. So guys, as for the Dyson Air Wrap, I feel like I will need someone to sort of teach me. Obviously it has sort of done something to the hair, but let's just say it wasn't as easy as the lashes. Right guys, I'm going to quickly get changed into a little Zara number and then I will come back and finish the vid. So guys, this is the finished look with the amazing eyelashes which I just love, love, love. So these are the Out Out lashes which are obviously a vibe as you can see but you also saw me put on feeling myself. Love them both so, so much and I can't wait to wear them an extra 19 times. <laughs> And apart from that, I hope you also loved watching me do my makeup. It's same, same at the moment. What I love, but a lot of things are running out, so I will be replacing them and doing them again. As for the Dyson Air Wrap, can someone please tell me how to use that? Because I literally have zero idea. I feel like I need to have wet hair. You know what I mean? But apart from that, I hope you love this video. And thank you, Eyelash Emporium, for sponsoring this video. And yeah, make sure to go check out their strip lashes they are a vibe thank you guys for watching and make sure to like if you did and subscribe and i will see you in the next one bye